Professor Wieser, welcome to Creation Radio Television. Thank you. Who is actually Wayne Wieser? Preacher, believer, consultant, economist or businessman who can prove us that uh, a social responsibility is profitable on the long run? Well, I like to think of myself as a pracademic, uh, so uh, a practical academic. And what I like is to take the best of the ideas and the best of the practice because ideas without implementation are not worth anything, but implementation without good ideas is also a waste. And they believe to you, otherwise it would not, you, it would not ask you to be a consultant. Yeah, well, I think uh, I've managed to have a career for 30 years uh, working on sustainable business, which is a surprise to me even, but that tells us how the world has changed because the need is there today. Who is really socially responsible and what for? Yeah, well, I think you have to judge uh, the, the patient uh, in terms of sickness by whether they're getting better or worse. So is our society and is our planet getting better or worse? In, mm -hmm. in those terms, all forms of social responsibility have completely failed. So as a strategy for positive social change, CSR is a failure today. But that doesn't mean to say it has to be going forward. So mm -hmm. how do we test? Well, our companies willing to admit that they're part of the problem, that the industrial economic capitalist system that we have is creating a fundamental set of breakdowns in society. Do they admit that? And then are they prepared to be ambitious? And that's really what differentiates companies today between those old approaches and what I call a transformational approach. Will they set ambitious goals for being part of the solution, not part of the problem? And to survive. Well, they have to survive, but there's a lot of confusion. Companies saying our purpose is to make profits, to return to shareholders. Well, that's like saying my purpose is to breathe. It, it's nonsense. Yeah, we, I have to breathe to survive. Companies have to make profits to survive, and you have to be prosperous in order to invest. But that's not the purpose of a company. The purpose of business is to deliver value to society. And that's what we're in now in a, a decade of questioning. What do we mean by value? And in fact, are companies creating value with the one hand and destroying value with the other hand? Well, we see that the world is changing, uh, corporate culture is changing, uh, leaders are transforming. It seems that you also evolve and transform yourself uh, from writer to producer. After 28 books, you switch to film industry, closing the loop. Is it symbolic? Well, partly I think it is about, you know, how can we make the most impact? And you wonder today who reads books anymore sometimes. <laughs> uh, so indeed, uh, one, of the, one of the shifts I made recently, uh, I co-produced a documentary uh, called Sinking Nation, which is about uh, climate change on a Pacific island. Um, but also this most recent one, Closing the Loop, which is all about how we get to a circular economy, which is effectively a zero waste economy, which people were thinking is, is something like a dream, but no. Imagination. No. Yeah. Uh, so what we did, I really wanted to, to show that it is possible and that there are companies already, not only in Europe, but also in Latin America, in Africa, where we filmed, that are already implementing this. So no matter where you are, what kind of country you are, how rich or poor you are, there are ways to already move towards a zero waste economy, a circular economy, instead of the linear take, make, waste. Yes. We go to you know, take, borrow, and return. In fact, this suit that I'm wearing as it happens was one of the cases we filmed. It's a company called Dutch Awareness, and it's a circular suit. So what, what does, does that it mean that few of you are sharing the same suit or not? Luckily not. Uh, what it means is that they've, they've innovated the fabric, so it's a polyester fabric which can be 100% recycled, not once but eight times. So this suit that might have had a five-year life now has multiple lives of maybe 40 or 50 years. And at the end of that, in fact, they're working with a construction company called Dura Vermeer in, uh, in Netherlands to use this as a construction material so that they can reinforce the dikes and the canals instead of using tropical hardwood, which is what we use at the moment. So it's just to say that there are these uh, inspiring cases. They're not all from rich countries, uh, but we have to take it seriously. And but how expensive then this suit is? This is no more than you would pay for a, for a, a, good, a good suit anywhere else. And, and that's really important because if we only have 
sustainable or socially responsible products that you pay more for. It'll never be a solution for everyone. It'll always be an exclusive little club of ethical consumers. It won't solve the problem. So uh, CSR, sustainable business, it has to be a solution for everyone. And we need, therefore, to have what we call frugal innovation, innovation that doesn't cost more, solutions that are sustainable and affordable. And, and there's a lot happening in the space which is very exciting. So, you know, don't wait for, for the West or for the rest of the world to, to, you know, to lead the charge. You can do it wherever you are, in whatever position you are, you can make a change. Professor Wieser, thank you very much for your precious time. Thank you so much. <clears throat>